Hello everyone, welcome to MP. In this video tutorial series, I show you how to write books and technical reports in LaTeX. So, with no further delays, let's get started. In this video, I will show you how to install LaTeX and Tech Studio on your computer, along with some customization. LaTeX is a document markup language and is used to create technical documents. LaTeX is a very powerful typesetting tool and I use it to write books and reports. It is especially handy for creating documents containing mathematical notation. First of all, something that confuses many people when they first hear the name is the pronunciation. This software is pronounced LaTeX, not LaTeX, as you might initially think. In order to use LaTeX, you need to install two free software packages. The first is a LaTeX distribution. This turns your code into a readable document. The LaTeX distribution I use is MicTeX, which is for Windows. If you are using Mac OS, you can install MacTeX. The second program you need to install is a LaTeX text editor, which is used for writing your code. I use Tech Studio, but an alternative program is Tech Maker. Tech Studio and Tech Maker can both be used on either Windows or Mac. The order in which they should be installed is first your LaTeX distribution and then your text editor. Now let's get on with installation. Here we are at the MicTech website and we just download the MicTech installer. And likewise, here at the Tech Studio website, we just download the Tech Studio installer. I will put both these links in the description below. When your two downloads are complete, open up the download directory and install MicTech first. In the MicTech installation window, just accept the copying conditions and choose the option to install MicTech for all users on the computer. I left the installation directory as the default one and then I also chose to install all missing packages on the fly, though I don't really know what difference that would make. Click start to install MicTech. The installation is quick as there is not many files to install. After that, install Tech Studio next. I once again left the installation directory as the default one and just clicked install to install Tech Studio. This installation is also quick. So that is all that you need to install. When you run Tech Studio for the first time, this is what it looks like. The Tech Studio installer does not create a shortcut on the desktop, but you can find the exe in the installation directory, which is by default in program files x86 on your C drive. You can manually create a desktop shortcut by right-clicking on the EXE and choosing Send to Desktop. Tech Studio should automatically detect your LaTeX distribution, in our case MicTech. You can open up the MicTech console by going to the Start menu and looking for MicTech. Expand the menu and click on MicTech console. In the MicTech console, I just always choose Switch to MicTech Administrator Mode. This will close down the current console and open the Admin console. From here, you can update and install more packages. Simply click on Check for Updates and then click on Update Now to update the existing packages on your computer. When it has finished updating, it will prompt you to restart the MicTech console. Just click OK to restart. Packages are used to load special instructions for the compiler. With packages you can add features that aren't included in the standard LaTeX distribution. 
This MIGTEC distribution we installed is a basic distribution, meaning that it comes pre-installed with the minimum amount of packages that are most commonly used. However, we will need more packages than the basic distribution offers by default. To get more packages, go to the Packages tab. Here you can choose whatever package you need and install them directly. To install a package, select it and click on the plus sign. The console will then download and install that package. I'm not sure which packages I will need and which I won't need, so I just installed all the packages to be safe. Now, there are quite a lot of packages and the total file size is around 6.4 GB, which is quite big. If you don't want to install that many packages, that is fine. You will just need to check which packages you are using and make sure they are installed. But be aware that many packages require some other packages to function properly. So you will have to go check in the packages documentation to see which packages it requires to work and install them as well. When it comes to installing multiple packages at once, I found the MIGTEC console to be not so user friendly. You can select all the packages by selecting the top one and then holding the shift key while you select the bottom most package. Unfortunately, you can't click on the plus sign now because among the se selected packages are some that are already installed. So now I had to scroll all the way up and one by one deselect the installed packages by holding the control key. Once I had only the non-installed packages selected, the plus sign was available for me to click on. What was really annoying was that every now and then, while it was busy installing packages, a random error message showed up saying it transferred a partial file. This ends the download process and then you only have the packages downloaded up until that point. Then you have to go and reselect the packages again. After quite a while, I finally had all the packages. I just hope that this package installing feature will be made more user friendly in the future. So that is all I need the MIGTEC console for, to install and update packages. Just remember to come back to the console every now and then to update your packages. Now I will show you how to change your Tech Studio Editor theme. I prefer darker backgrounds because they are easier on my eyes. I also like colorful text when coding because it helps me make sense of what is going on in my code. So I already prepared a theme. With Tech Studio open, go to Options and select Save Profile. This will open a window where you can choose a directory to save the file. I already um, created a folder on my desktop that I will use for the rest of this tutorial series. Type in a file name and click save. This will create a file with the extension .txs profile. Open that file by dragging it to your Tech Studio workspace. Now all this code you see represents the Tech Studio profile data, like the color and size of objects. Scroll down to the bottom where you should see the last line, version equals 1.0. Copy the code that I provide for you in the link in the description below and paste it under this last line. Then you just save the file. Now you go back to options and this time select load profile. Choose the file we just edited and click open. This will immediately minimize Tech Studio. Just close it and reopen it to see the new editor theme applied. If you want to change some of the colors or font types and sizes, 
You can do so by going to Options and selecting Configure Tech Studio. Here you can change just about anything. I chose my font family to be Arial and my font size to be 12. I find this to be quite easy to read. I also set it to show all line numbers, which will display the line numbers in the editor. This will be very useful later on when we have hundreds of lines of code. You can also change the colors of different parts of your code by going to Syntax Highlighting. Right now everything you see here is displayed in green, but don't worry, you will see the different colors later when we start writing our own code. You can also delete the theme file you created because it will not be needed anymore. So that's it for this tutorial. With these two installations, we can now start using Tech Studio to create our own documents with LaTeX. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.